Ooh, yard sale. <gasps> DOI friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today I'm going to be tackling a huge thrift flip project that, why are my hands in fist? I'm like tackling. <laughs> As I mentioned, I am tackling a huge thrift flip project that I've had my eye on for a while. This is something I've wanted to do for so long. Now, a few months ago, I completed a office makeover, which I'm very happy with, don't worry. There's just one thing that this room lacked, and that was ample storage for like, call it like the office and mail stuff. As you know, my office has an entire wall of shelves, but it's completely open and over time they kind of just got cluttered and I found myself constantly cleaning them, decluttering them. Right now it's not functional. Then you're probably thinking, well, what about your super cool black star cabinet, Danny? Doesn't that work for your needs? Well, yes, it does. And it doesn't, if that makes sense. This cabinet was perfect for storage, but I just kind of found myself piling things on top of it when all of that stuff came in. I'm a little heartbroken, honestly. I love this cabinet, but I'm able to part with it only because it is being replaced with something even more epic. We are going to hack a thrifted hutch and turn it into the apothecary hutch of my dreams. Yes, my friends, if you haven't guessed, I have an apothecary obsession <laughs> and I am not upset about it. I love you. I know. I'm always finding ways to recreate the apothecary look for less, so this is another example of that, so I'm so ready. But before we jump in, I also want to send a big thanks to Milanote for sponsoring this episode. Milanote is a really easy to use web app that's made for creative people like you and me. It is a tool that helps organize all of your creative thoughts and ideas in a visual, easy to understand way. Now, I use their freeform canvas for brainstorming all of my creative ideas. I can also bring material shopping lists on the go, recall information from my plans on the go. I'm just a big fan of this. Throughout this flip, thrift flip process, you're going to see how I use Milano to help build and share my ideas, so be ready. Until then, let's jump into this flipping episode already, shall we? <laughs> see what I did there? I'm going, I'm going. I'm leaving, okay? I'm sorry. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. <laughs> One day, I swear, I will have real drawers. All right, so before I can decide on what hutch I need to find a thrift flip, I need to nail down my creative idea of what does the perfect apothecary cabinet look like. From there, I can take elements from those inspiration pieces as a way to find the perfect hutch for me. Every time I start a new brainstorm, what I do is I open up my Milanote and I drag out a new board. Let's see, this one is called Apothecary Cabinet 3.0. And now I can just scour through Pinterest, go to any websites that might be helpful and just pull them into my brainstorm board. So let's do it. <laughs> Now, when I find something that I like to pull these photos into Milanote, I just use the Web Clipper browser tool that sits up here. As you can see, when I scroll my mouse over top of the photo, I get this little icon. I click that. I just tell it which board I want it to go into and voila. Okay, I think these photos are enough here. I can kind of start to dissect these photos and figure out what is it about these elements that I love. So let's break this down. I'm actually gonna switch my computer over. So I'm gonna use their draw tool. This is actually a really cool um, new feature in Milanote that I love um, because it lets me draw right on the screen. I think I really love this one here. This is my favorite, I think, of all of them. What I like about here is the windows. You guys are gonna have to excuse my handwriting. <laughs> I love this little under area here. For this one here, I genuinely love the color. I'm planning to paint my hutch black. You know me. <laughs> but what I love about this also is that there's this wood detailing on the inside. So that's something I definitely want to look to do is create black on the outside and add that kind of dark wood contrast on the inside. Um, on this one, I really like the counter storage. Ooh, I like the cubbies on this one. 
one. So just looking at this here, I feel pretty good about this. I think we have all the elements kind of broken down. Now, a lot of these things can be DIY, so I'm gonna keep that in my mind when I'm out shopping. I think we have everything we need. All we need to do now is find our hut. Let's go thrift shopping. Why are they different? I don't know. <laughs> Great news. I found a really good potential on Facebook Marketplace. The guy got back, he said he's not there, but his wife is, so she's willing to meet us to show us this hutch. It's perfect, it's square at the top, which means I can do a lot with it on a DIY level. Bottom half is like cabinets, which is great because then it has lots of space underneath and it fits. I'm gonna find the hutch, we're doing it. God, I love the hunt. Let's go get the hutch. It worked out. We have the piece. It's in the back of the truck. I'm gonna pull it out and I'll show you guys what it looks like once we set it up in the studio. It's so cool. Are you excited? I'm not excited about that dead spider. Okay, we, we can get rid of the dead spider. I am so happy I found my thrifted piece. Honestly, I was like getting kind of concerned towards the end of my shopping experience that like I wasn't gonna find anything. It was selling for 175, I believe it was, and they cut it down to 150 and then I tossed them down to 130. So I feel like I got a pretty good deal about this because it is very beat up. There's a lot of scratches on it. So if we can do this all for say under $500, I think I'm gonna be like celebrating huge. So what I've done is I've taken a picture of my cabinet and I'm just going to open up my Milanote app so that I can bring in the photo and it's just going to send it straight to my desktop here. Perfect. Here we go. Now that I have all this information over here that we did in our brainstorm, I want to take that information and start to apply it to our thrifted piece. So I'm just going to open up this draw tool one more time. Knowing that I want to add those like little cubbies, my gut is telling me maybe do like small cubbies on the top and then do larger cubbies on the bottom. Thank goodness this is made of wood because I can keep the wood interior and then paint the exterior black. Let me just change the color here. So then there's going to be uh, nine drawers per door and then we just kind of add our little hardware and then we're going to get that kind of apothecary look that we want, which is dope. Other than that, I think we're kind of good to go. What I want to do is sketch this up in another app. It's a longer process maybe, but it's definitely my process and how I like to work to make sure that every single detail looks good. And then at that point, I definitely feel confident moving forward with my plans. No errors for me. Doesn't that look cool? I think it's pretty funky. I think the vision's there. I think it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, so let's send this over to my Milanote Perfection. Okay, so we should be able to just pull it up here. Check that out. Like beside each other, you can totally start to see the vision now, right? Now all we need to do is create our shopping list. I actually really love this tool, so check this out. You guys know behind the scenes just <laughs> what we call her. She actually lives really close to a hardware store, which is great for me when I need some like little odds and ends picked up. What I can do is to notify her that I need her to pick certain things up. I'm actually just going to invite her onto this board. There we go. Now she knows which items she's got to pick up. Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> Trying to show people how Milano works. Thank you, Milanote, for sponsoring this episode. If you guys want to check out Milanote, it is a completely free app. Click the link in my description box. See if it can help you guys in your DIYs like it's helped mine in this case. Like this, it's just, it's changed my life. It's changed the way I creatively organize everything. If you guys want to check out this project board and see all the materials I use, go click my link. I've shared my board with you. Go explore, have fun. Let's go start this DIY, shall we?
Uh, good morning. It is really raining today. Not just like spitting rain. It's going to stop eventually. This is an all day torrential downpour. So we have a plan. Do you guys remember that tent that Jess and I put up when we were building the barn doors? Maybe if I go the opposite corner to you. Yeah, I said that it was intended for another video. It's actually not intended for this video either, but it looks like it's gonna come in handy once again, smart buy. So <laughs> Jess and I are going to hustle, set it up. Um, we're gonna get wet, but sometimes that's the way she goes. And uh, when she goes, she goes. Okay, so that was a journey. I got soaking wet and now I had to change all of my clothes again. This is really cool, guys. I need to show you this. This is a brand new toy. I got a miter saw stand and uh, this thing is dope. I'm gonna be doing like a full walkthrough and tutorial on this piece uh, on my Patreon. So if you are a Patreon member, then great. If you're not, you guys can always learn about Patreon down in my description box, there is a link. So I have my drawing, it is now on the wall here. It makes sense to my brain, so I got my board. Now all we have to do is just start cutting. So let's do it. very well so far. We got all of our pieces cut. Now all we have to do is assemble. Assemble! <laughs> Let's take the sander to it. Let's uh, just smooth out some rough edges, any like little crispy bits. Final thing of the day, let's go sand. I am a hot mess. <laughs> I am very tired. It's getting very dark out and I gotta bring this tent out and I gotta get this equipment in. So I'm calling it a day. Tomorrow we're gonna focus on creating the apothecary, the faux apothecary drawers and the window uh, pieces. So I'm excited and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's another rainy day and I love that. It's not great. I had epiphany last night. I'm sitting there in bed and I'm going, why on earth did I build a bottom to it? The piece is gonna sit sandwiched between this piece and this piece, right? But like, we already got a bottom, Danny. Why would we wanna add a three quarter inch piece that's gonna lift it? We don't want that. I don't want that. So today I'm also going to be removing that bottom piece. And what's gonna happen is once I actually add it to the cabinet, I'm gonna drill from the bottom of the cabinet up into the base so that it doesn't move around. It'll just require me to pull all of the drawers out. It's no problem. We got a lot of work ahead of us. This rain is not going to defeat me. You will not defeat me. Plus my hair looks cute today, so like, no. Boop, boop, boop. Tighten your screws. back in the she shack. One thing that I noticed about these doors 
is that they have this little kind of triangular bevel on the inside. So I actually want to try to mimic that kind of triangular beveled edge so that the apothecary cabinets actually look real. I have my little baby router here and what I have on the end is a little router bit that actually has that same triangular little bevel. So what I did was I wanted to check the depth that I think I need my bit to go. So I'm actually using my cabinet as my guide. I kind of just want my router bit to sit just exactly into this little space. Let's get set up and let's make some apothecary food drawers. Finally, we're in a dry space. We're gonna chat about these old windows. So there's a couple challenges. One of them is the fact that this middle piece isn't a real door. This is a stationary piece. It doesn't move. I think what I can do is I'm actually going to measure from the top piece here to the bottom, and then I'm gonna sand down this beveled edge so that it fits nice and flat and it actually feels in line with the frame. I'm gonna start measuring out all each of the windows. Other than that, yeah, I'm just gonna get going and see how this goes. Wish me luck. We vibe it under the city lights. Wherever the wind go take us. If it's good, we make it contagious. And we vibe it laying on black sand beaches. Thinking of what life teaches. So glad and fall from the deep end. Said we vibing under the city lights. Wherever the wind goes. Days feel low, face gonna have that glow. Already moving where they ain't think I go. Never show your hand no fold. Keep that poker face shining, keep that hope and faith and face the fire. Ain't no trace of hate that you can find. If you say I'm hating, then you line, line, line. Put your hand on the Bible, won't you try and say that again? Again, probably grab it, I'll probably map it. Got an alibi or a friend, friend. Cabinets are officially prepped, so I'm going to be using. I don't know why to slap it. Just slapping everything. I am going to be using uh, a chalk paint. I did a test patch on a piece of pine wood. Now I found it very liquidy. Hopefully it works out and uh, Jess has already gotten started. We're hoping to tag team this entire process. So uh, with that said, let's get painting. Let's get painting, let's get painting, let's get painting. We're gonna paint a cabinet. Under the city lights, wherever the wind go take us. If it's good, we make it contagious. And we vibing, laying on black sand beaches, thinking of what life teaches. So glad it fall from the deep end. Said we vibing. <laughs> good morning, DIY friends. How are you? I have a room full of painted furniture and I'm not mad about it. It looks great. The The chalk paint, it worked really well. The color is a little bit more charcoal than I expected. I actually got my paint specifically made to a color, but I'm hoping that the wax top finish coat is going to kind of deepen it, like richen it a little bit. Either way, we have a lot of waxing to do, so I better wax off and start waxing on. <laughs> Oh, uh, God, yeah. Bringing out the fight, yeah, bring on all the lightning. Cause I'm looking for a hero, look inside the mirror. I find one, oh, carry the hurt when it gets too hard. Pick it up, dust it off, and I fall down 11. I get up 12, don't need nobody else. Yeah, I, I can save myself.
final day here, friends, and the finish line was so close. I got all the cabinet doors installed with no issues, yay for me. But there was one element that bothered me on the side where the cabinet had this bit of an overhang, if you can see it there. So I cut two sideboards, I painted them black, popped them into place, and secured it with a brad nailer. This was a simple fix solution that made the entire piece look way more complete in my humble opinion. All right, friends, let's just take a quick reminder of what this piece originally looked like here. Honestly, it wasn't a bad hutch to begin with, but this transformation was epic. is just everything I wanted it to be and more. The best part, I was able to create this entire hutch for $360. What a steal. I also might look at adding lights inside, but for now, I love it. And being so close to Halloween, my friends, I felt it fitting to give it a creepy makeover. So make sure you are subscribed to my Instagram so you don't miss out on that transformation. DIY friends, thank you so much for watching this crazy apothecary thrift flip episode. What do you guys think? Honestly, this turned out epic, better than I could have imagined it, and uh, this is the power of DIY, my friends. I'm just totally blown away. I can't believe this is in my house, and I'm like stoked to use it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there are more thrift flip episodes, can I make it for cheapers, DIY galore, and you don't want to miss out. And a big thanks to Millinote for sponsoring this episode. Don't forget to click on my project board. Go Go check out how I use Milano and also click the Milano link, download the app. It's completely free and try it out for yourself. Get creatively organized and think about building something cool like this. <laughs> but as always, my friends, stay positive, stay creative and keep on the outline. Bye-bye.